Hey everybody, Spaz here. It's time for another episode of But Is It Power Pop? This is the show whose title has become a punchline on Facebook. Let me start by saying the show is not specifically about Power Pop. How could I possibly do a Power Pop show if I'm wearing an Asia t-shirt? This is a show where I talk about melodic bands, Power Pop adjacent bands, and Power Pop bands. So if you like power pop and melodic pop, then this show is definitely for you. We're going to start off this episode with Kurt Betcher and friends looking for the sun. Definitely not power pop, but if you love soft pop, if you love sunshine pop, if you love vocal harmony pop, uh, then this is definitely for you. This release features the lost productions of Kurt Betcher. So there's not a lot of well-known names there. I mean, if you liked Kurt's work with Sagittarius and the Millennium and his production of the first Association album, then you're definitely going to want to check out Kurt Betcher and Friends Looking for the Sun. Nice package, great liner notes, little booklet right there. That's something to definitely check out, especially if you're a fan of 60s Sunshine Pop. Let's go over to Australia in the 70s, 74 to 77. This is Chalice Overflow. This is a uh, retrospective of their recordings. And if you don't know who they are, they are definitely a great band. This is on the Zero Hour Records label. That should tell you enough right there. Uh, great 70s pop. Some of it I found very Who-like. Some of it very Badfinger-esque. But just great melodic 70s Australian pop and rock so definitely check out chalice overflow on the zero hour records label a band i love is holiday and this is their album ready steady go definitely a great sweet pop band uh when i say sweet i don't mean like the band sweet but very very pleasing it's like aural cotton candy with an edge this is a great album descriptions that i would give this album are twee indie pop soft power pop a little bit of jangle in there a little bit of new wave in there but it's not this aggressive loud punchy sound it's just a great collection of songs sometimes winsome sometimes beautiful but always melodic holiday ready steady go here's a new album by a band called forever sparks if you are into early acoustic david bowie maybe a little bit of martin newell in there some robin hitchcock uh it's psych folk it's folk it's melodic uh this is actually jerry t jones who was a member of one the juggler a member of glam weasel and some other projects that's a really nice album full of great songs definitely something you're going to want to check out if you like those artists that i compared it to definitely check it out forever sparks firefly is the name of the album check it out you like mod? What about Squire? Get ready to go. This is a collection of early raw Squire demos. Almost every song here is Anthony Maynell on his four track recorder finding his sound. And I'll tell you, at the very beginning, he had his sound. Uh, he does drift a little bit into some punk edginess, but Anthony was writing 60s influenced great pop music before the mod scene kicked in. And this is the proof in the pudding. The great thing about this is it starts off with a brand new song called I'm 21, uh, recorded this year. And then it goes into his demos and it builds up until the very last song, Get Ready to Go, which was their first single. It's a really nice introduction to the embryonic sound of Squire. It's all there on full display. Great songs. You're definitely going to want to check that out if you are a mod or Squire fan or both, actually. Uh, next up is Slumberjet. Nice, melodic, uh, reminds me sometimes of Crowded House, later period squeeze, like maybe around the time of the Play album. Uh, it's got some power pop in there. It's got Brit pop. Uh, thank goodness it doesn't sound anything like Oasis, but it's actually a fantastic album. You need to check that out. Slumberjet is the name of the band. They also had a previous album that came out a few years ago. So you're going to want to complete your slumberjet collection with those two cds now here's one that's a little bit kooky fickle pickle this is actually a three cd set and you're thinking three cd set i've never even heard of one track by fickle pickle but guess what if you're a fan of badfinger 10 cc early solo mccartney late 60s beatles you're definitely going to want to check out fickle pickle they only released an album and a few singles but there's like a whole disc of unreleased tracks that will blow your mind and you'll sit there and go how come this was never released this is a great track but the first disc has their album fickle pickle is the band that had a hit with maybe i'm amazed 
the Paul McCartney song because Paul McCartney didn't release it as a single. So they recorded a pretty faithful version of the song and actually had a hit in Europe with it. So Fickle Pickle and the compilation is called A Complete Pickle. Definitely worth your time. There's been a lot of great albums this year, but one particular song stands out amongst all those things as what I consider the great pop anthem of 2019. And that is The Truth, the title track to their EP, Keep On Keeping On. Yes, this is the same truth, that mod band from the 80s. Uh, they actually redo two older songs and they're just updated. They sound great, punchy, full of life. And But Keep On Keeping On is just an absolutely tremendous song and needs to be a part of everybody's life. It's just an EP right now. And you can get it straight from the band if you go online and you probably get a autograph copy. Uh, but the truth, keep on keeping on the EP available now. Oh my gosh, speaking of other great albums that came out this year, the Amplifier Heads with their debut album, Lauda. You know who the Amplifier Heads are? That's Sal Baglio from The Stompers and Rocky Rollins. He's the singer-songwriter, and then the drummer is Ducky Carlisle, who's worked with many bands, including the Flash Cubes. He was on Danny Wilkerson's album last year. Uh, but this is just great rock and roll. It's modern, it's it's tough, it's rough, uh, and its influences really seem to be uh, early Beatles and mid-period Stones, and then throw in some great American rock and roll, and of course, Sal Baglio is a great songwriter. So that's definitely something to check out. Lauda by the Amplifier Heads. Check it out now. On the Cool Cat Music label, it's karma, it's cool. If you like the idea of, let's say... Um, Buddy Holly or Peter Noon fronting the laws. That's kind of what they sound like. Uh, it's just a six track EP. Jim Styring, who was in the Pop Dogs and the B Leaguers, is the vocalist in this band. And it's definitely worth your time to check it out. It's on Cool Cat Music. It's Carmen's Cool. And the album is called Hipsters and Aeroplanes. And if you open it up, it's got liner notes. I wonder who wrote those liner notes. Might have been me, might have been me, might have been me. There's a band from Scotland called Friends Again. Is it power pop? No, not even. But I wanted to bring this up because it's a great release. Just came out, two CD set. In the 80s, if you were into the Bluebells, Orange Juice, Lloyd Cole, Aztec Camera, even Altered Images, uh, you're definitely going to want to check out Friends Again. The album never came out in the U.S., uh, because the band had broken up by the time it got released in the UK. But it's definitely worth your while to check it out. There's the booklet for the CD. And it's got all the pictures and singles and sleeves. And three of the members of this band went on to form the group Love and Money. So if you're familiar with the band Love and Money, they are from Friends Again. But it's really nice. It's pop. It's got some soul elements. And, and it's definitely of its time. But it, the songs are just amazing. Heck, one of the tracks was produced by Tom Verlaine. So Friends Again is now available on CD. Finally, I may have talked about them, but I always love to tell people about this band, Dylan Fence. Yeah, you're going, oh, Spaz, it's that 90s grunge stuff. No, in the midst of all that 90s grunge, this was just straight ahead, great, clean guitar, pop music. Uh, absolutely a fantastic album, actually. There's uh, the back of it. The album's called Rosemary. Just killer songs. It's not power pop. It's just straight ahead pop, just straight ahead great guitar pop. I mean, it jangles, it sings, it's it's just fantastic. And and Greg Humphreys has kind of this bellow, uh, which is soulful and poppy at the same time. In my opinion, Dylan Fence, one of the greatest 90s guitar pop albums. You definitely need to check that out. And that's it for this episode of But Is It Power Pop? Remember, keep those punchlines coming. And until the next time, smell you later.